Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar then we'll have a look at the five day precipitation and temperature from the UK Met Office run and then we'll run through the mid to longer range have a look at what's been happening towards the second half of April as it does look like proper northern blocking is going to be getting going once again we'll explain why that might be happening and what its impacts could be because northern blocking in the winter does produce very cold wintry conditions however we're middle to the second half of spring now so it's going to be delivering very different conditions than perhaps we would have seen if this happened two or three months ago we'll have a look at some of the charts and they are very much are showing if it were winter sort of charts where we would be buried under snow if we'd sort of seen these sort of uh, pressure charts in january and february but as i said being end of March, uh, sorry, end of April, second half of spring, we're not going to be seeing anything like that. So remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe, and remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. Hope everyone is having a great Easter Saturday, uh, whatever you're doing today. For the vast majority, it is very dry and pretty sunny. Further west would you go, the cloud amounts do increase before you arrive to your western parts of Ireland. Um, and we start to see some precipitation move in. And these are the weather fronts that are going to be encroaching over the next 24 to 48 hours, eventually clearing through the whole country by Monday um, and turning us into a more showery, low-pressure regime with cooler weather. But to the east of this, we've got a lot of sunshine and quite warm conditions. Temperatures getting up to around 21, 22, 23 degrees, and we saw the warmest day of the year yesterday. Perhaps we could see something similar today, but I'm not expecting it to exceed it massively if it does reach that those sort of levels once again some regions are seeing slightly cooler conditions especially along the east coast with a bit more of an easterly breeze but generally it is pretty warm and dry if we do put on those temperatures as of around two or well, half past two you can see these really warm temperatures are through sort of the core of england and wales those temperatures have shifted a bit further westwards uh, the warmest conditions and you can see right along the east coast a few little more blues showing up and that's a bit of more of a sea breeze keeping those temperatures down but once again in the midlands central southern england and into far southwest even today with that wind coming in from the east it's more sheltered further westwards and that's why we're seeing those temperatures really rise but you can see further northwards and westwards cooler air coming in with those weather fronts turning things as i said more towards average and potentially cooler than average by next week. So we do now have a look at the UK Met Office run, have a look at what the precipitation and temperature uh, is going to be like over the next five days. If we do run to this afternoon, you can see how we have more sunshine further eastwards, more cloud further westwards and those weather fronts approaching from the west and that cloud is going to spread eastwards over the course of the afternoon into the evening yes there could be some cloud breaks even further westwards but it is turning increasingly cloudy and you see that precipitation is moving in from the west that precipitation continues to slowly progress eastwards could give quite a miserable start to easter sunday across ireland and northern ireland initially being quite moderate to light but persistent before more heavier showers and bands of rain move in behind we do eventually see these rain uh, this rain start to move eastwards so for the majority on easter sunday apart from ireland northern ireland perhaps the far west of scotland and the far west of wales and southwest england it is still dry and could be still warm in the far east where we still have a bit more sunshine those weather fronts do eventually clear eastwards through the early hours of monday but they do sort of degrade away coming up against the high pressure so some areas would just see a little bit of drizzle or light rain or some just some thicker cloud but because we're in a more showery regime through monday pretty much all areas have the potential for seeing a few showers where the uk met office run predicts uh, those heavier shower activity in across Wales, southwest England, most of Ireland, Northern Ireland, and parts of Scotland as well. But through Monday evening, some more showers and cloud around uh, quite widely. Again, going to be quite hit and miss. But by Tuesday afternoon, you can see widespread shower activity. Perhaps Ireland, Northern Ireland, seeing the, uh, the least amount of showers, and central southern England, which has seen the warmest weather over the next day or two, it is going to be seeing more of that shower activity. And that continues uh, through Wednesday. You can see, actually, it's not too bad. Could be quite a decent day, but those temperatures are going to be dropping as we have more of an easterly flow. So even though it looks like a really good chart here, it looks sunny, pretty warm, it actually would be a good five degrees colder than what it is now. And we just see that continue through Thursday. 
Um, and if I do actually just put on those 850 HPA temperatures, you can see at the moment warm air mass is 5 to 8 degrees at 850 HPA. But I transfer right towards the end of the run, you can see more towards freezing at 850 HPA. And you can see that cold air to our east coming in on an easterly breeze. Not massively cold, but perhaps getting down to that minus 5 level by Thursday or Friday next week. So yeah, even though it is still looking decent in terms of perhaps uh, still some sunshine around and some dry weather for, for some, it will be a good, uh, it will be quite a bit cooler uh, and you will feel that out there. So if you look at those temperatures, you can see this afternoon once again peaking in and around 20, 21, maybe 20 degrees against down the spine of England and Wales and perhaps towards sort of the West Midlands being uh, the, the, the sort of the sweet spot for temperatures. And as I said, down the far east, a little bit cooler. Tonight, temperatures will drop away to mid to high single digits. And tomorrow, once again, we could see warm conditions again through the central parts of England, especially in the east as well. 18, 19, maybe 20 degrees, but a degree or two cooler than today. And you can see by Monday, those temperatures will start to fall considerably, actually. And you can see by Monday, temperatures only 14, 15, maybe 16 degrees in the far east where we see more sunshine. So a good three or four degrees cooler. And that continues through the week. And by Tuesday, those temperatures are pretty chilly, only 10, 12 degrees, perhaps 13 or 14 locally, as we have more cloud and shower, showers around. But you can see a little bit of an overnight frost, perhaps across parts of Ireland. But by Wednesday afternoon, again, 13, 14, 15 degrees, maybe 16 degrees across parts of Ireland. And we just see that continue through Thursday again. The temperature is going to be quite cold overnight under the high pressure with cool um upper air conditions so return potentially to isolated frosts for some later this working week but for all those temperatures are going to be a good few degrees down with increased shower activity not a complete washout by any means but yes definitely all areas really do have a pot possibility of seeing showers um, pretty much every day next week um, of course some areas will keep stay dry some areas may be dry from sort of for most of the week but the potential for heavy showers and maybe some thunderstorms around as well so do have a look at the longer range have a look at the gfs gm and ecm wf um now you can see that high pressure up to our north and our east at the moment bit of an easterly breeze that's why the far southeast is a little bit chillier at the moment but you can see that low pressure running in off the Atlantic and by Monday it's starting to progress through and it does break through pretty much uh, all areas by Monday, Tuesday and turning into a bit of a cut off low as the high pressure tries to build back in. But it is bringing just an easterly breeze in. Um, not massively high pressure, but not massively low pressure. So that's why there is shower activity, but not loads of persistent bands of rain uh, either. But you can see proper northern blocking gets going. You can see well up to Scandinavia, Greenland, pulling an easterly wind. And as I said, if this were winter, if this were December to February or even March, we would be bitterly cold with really cold air coming in from the east but you can see this time of year it's not particularly cold the near constant is not cold at all it is chilly um you look at those upper air temperatures it's around or below average a little bit of blues there but it's nothing crazy by any means if we continue beyond that continue with these easterly winds and low pressure to our south bringing in showers and as we hit towards the end of the run just this signal continues with high pressure to the north and to our west um bringing in an easterly breeze with cut-off lows to our south and right towards the end of the run we do see low pressures plunging southwards once again big amplified jet stream typical blocking regime with high pressure up towards northeast canada and greenland and we are not cold but not massively warm either but you do have a look at the temperature deviations and it's around average so upper air temperatures are going to be around average maybe a touch below touch above over the next couple of weeks some runs have it much colder some runs keep potentially bringing up some warmer at times but it's not going to be a uh, stunning sort of spring-like weather. There will be some good days. There will be some bad, chilly, cloudy, miserable days as well. So do bear that in mind. It is too far in advance, really, to be talking about specifics because it is going to be day-to-day -day changes. So for the next five days, we had a look at that in the UK Met Office run. There is going to be a lot of up and down. It does look decent for quite a few, uh, at least a few decent days, decent afternoons, but the increased chance of precipitation, cloud, and cooler conditions next week longer term as i said that does look like it will continue perhaps becoming more showery at times as well so do you have a look at the gm run see how that does compare again high pressure over the top of the uk at the moment low pressure breaking through over the coming days and then high pressure sits to our north bringing in an easterly wind a proper 
block to our north with real far-fetched easterly winds coming all the way from the Arctic. You follow those ice spars all the way from the Arctic. Look at those 850 HP temperatures, not particularly cold at all. Again, look at the deviation. It's around or slightly below average. Um, and again, just with a massive Iceland block, um, this would be, as I said, bitterly cold in, um, in, in January, February time. Beyond that, though, high pressure just stays over the top and to our north, bringing in an east southeasterly flow. Nothing crazily warm, but nothing crazily cold either, just generally around or below average um, with a showery regime. So, yeah, could be some frost around with that as well, but I'm not expecting anything massively cold. As, as I said, that cold air of the Arctic is running out. You can see there is bitterly cold air just over the North Pole, but surrounding it, there isn't too much, and the land and the sun is. Uh, very much warming those temperatures up if we do see any northerly plunges this time of year. So yeah, it is looking quite blocked, chilly, but not massively cold by any means. And if we do have a look at the eastern air front, see how that does compare. Again, high pressure to our north and our east at the moment, low pressure sliding in off the Atlantic. And you can see easterly winds coming in. And again, another one of these, if it only it were winter charts, we would be seeing bitterly cold, snowy weather with low pressure running up from the southwest, spiralling bands of snow in. But we're not going to be seeing that. And you can just see consistent easterly winds. Could be quite showery there with the centre of the low positioned more of the top of the UK. The other runs had it potentially a little bit further southwards. So this could create more showers and maybe some storms. And we can just continue in this unsettled regime. With big amplified jet stream. Generally direction of, the, of winds coming in from the north or the east pretty chilly and there's quite a cold plunge there perhaps bringing much cold weather towards the uk in the longer term but we can't have to, to uh, look at that too much as the ensembles as we see in a minute don't have anything much like that at, at this stage so just need to keep an eye on that at the moment though it just looks around or slightly below average so we do have a look at these ensembles first have a look at the gfs over the next sort of couple of weeks you can see warm at the moment a good five degrees above average but then we return well towards average around the next sort of three or four days and we stay around slightly below slightly above average on the ensembles uh, all the way through to the start of may yes some much colder runs appearing at the end some much milder runs appearing as well and a general increase in precipitation no washout conditions but generally more convective shower activity some areas could see a lot of rain from heavy showers and storms others could see very little rain so it is going to be very hit and miss so i can't really pinpoint exact um, rain amounts uh, at this stage unfortunately but generally shower activity will increase if i look at the sea level pressure you can see high level high pressure at the moment and generally trending towards neutral or below uh, or low pressure really um, for the foreseeable future but as i said not too many of the ensemble members going below a thousand millibars so not getting towards sort of deep low pressure which would give stronger winds gusty heavy rain squally rain so yeah we're not seeing those sort of low pressure conditions but generally lower pressure and if you look at the two meter temperatures you can see generally it is trending cooler 16 17 18 degrees on the ensembles here and as I said they do underdo it a little bit in the spring and summer uh, especially when we have warmer conditions so a degree or two warmer than this getting up towards 20 21 degrees and we see it trending cooler more towards 13 to 15 degrees by next week in the longer term there is a lot more uh, a lot more scatter some go towards 25 degrees others only around 9 or 10 degrees so it very much is up in the air but for the time being it does look like the last 10 days of april generally looks around average for temperatures but with an easterly breeze a bit of a wind chill it could feel a little bit colder than average at times but other days where we do see more stagnant winds a little bit more sunshine it could feel warmer than uh, warmer than average so as i said it will be a little bit up and down over the next week or two if we finally do have a look at the ECMDF ensemble, see how those do compare. Uh, have a look at the midnight run. Warm at the moment, dropping to around or maybe slightly below average. ECMDF run is slightly below average by a degree or so from the ensemble members. Quite a few going co quite cold towards the end of April, start of May, but others are going equally as warm. So there is a lot of uncertainty around with that and an increase in shower activity, of course. Now remember there are over 50 ensemble members here, so there's gonna be a lot more scatter and there's gonna be a lot more precipitation spikes. So um, sort of on average of all the ensemble members are here, it is about the same amount of precipitation as the GFS run. If you have a look at the two meter temperatures, um, you can see generally again, 16 to sort of 20 degrees at the moment um, and then you can see trending much cooler 
around 12 to 14 degrees by the uh, by the middle of this coming week. Not amazingly cold, as I said, with sunshine, warm, with chilly easterly winds, a little bit colder and we generally stay around that um, i'm sure though in the longer term we'll start seeing more clear signals in uh, in the change uh in changing in, in sort of the changing pressure patterns at the moment it does look like it's going to be blocked from around the middle of this coming week all the way until next weekend at least potentially beyond that as well but as ever it, we can't take any charts really beyond day seven too literally instead of sort of the trends one good thing about having northern blocking around is even though at the moment it's going to be giving chillier conditions than we have at the have uh, have right now um more precipitation and cloud and showers general blocking themes does mean high pressure is always close by so even though yes perhaps more showery it's not going to mean uh, it's going to mean there's not going to be absolute washouts at least at this stage um, and of course, if those blocks trend a little bit further southwards, more over the top of the UK, it could start to give us drier, warmer conditions similar to what we have now. So it is something we need to keep an eye on longer term. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you have a great um, Easter weekend, whatever you are doing. And, and of course, bank holiday Monday. Um, and I'll see you again for another video soon.